Get out of New York because he kept eating those cookies. I thought they were just a den thing for a minute. I was very mistaken. Mm -mm. Now they're they're all over and thank God because those cookies are good. But hey, I just know that's the place to walk to after you've had a good damn on fry. Interesting. Or on you know down the square. Yeah. I do. I do not go to fry. <laughs> I gotta say, not, not sorry, your sorry, Denton boys. I am not. I'm not a Fry Street kind of guy. <laughs> I yeah. mean, here we go. We got oh, Ismon the playing the Rob. Ismon, self-proclaimed best Rob in Texas. Mm. Self-proclaimed mm. is the is the is the big part because I, I I legitimately don't know how real this Rob is past the meme. I know that he's a very good this. player and has a good real Rob. I know I that he's he's got wins here and there. But I don't know how legitimately he likes playing this character. Like, if he's like, oh, this matchup is Rob time. I see what you're saying. Or if he's just like, haha, it's funny time for Rob, but my Rob's actually good. Yeah. You know? But his Rob is very it's, good. It's kind of like it's kind of like Nairo's Bowser in Smash yeah, 4, where exactly. you're like, this could like, actually I, be used as a counter pick, but like, if you see it generally, it's not. Like, my my brain tells me when I see this Rob, I like kombucha girl all over it. I'm like, you maybe. You know that the meme with the kombucha girl. Uh oh. No, because I one I don't know what a kombucha girl is. All I know is that Ismon's Rob is actually kind of nasty. He is pretty nasty. Look at that. Already taking the punish on the parasol. Do you know how hard it is to punish that parasol? It's tough. But when you got that disjointed downer, hey, go for it. True. Drop a load of jet fuel on that. Oh. That down. Boy, I hope so my scary. I hope my plane on Friday doesn't do that. Yeah. Well. <laughs> that would that would, that would be a I would, I would seriously regret going to see ah! you catch me on the mic there. Great back here there. What Oryx. happened? Back here. No, I mean I saw that. What I missed was it looked like he got up tilted. I didn't see that it was the weird hit. It looked like it was the regular hit, and then it looked like Oryx just stopped dead in his tracks and back aired him and hit him. He was, it looked like that was unsafe on hit. I'm confused. It did look like like brawl momentum stopped. I don't know what happened. Well. My brain hurts, but the Rob, the robot brain has to keep moving. There's only one direction, and that is forward, and he's holding it. Yeah, especially if you're Ismon, man. He certainly, uh, much like the other Robs in and Texas, he's, back. he's holding back. Aggressive. Yeah, he is he's definitely an aggressive player. But See, I get scared when I see somebody give up that much stage control to Oryx, but mm -hmm. give a player like Ismon the benefit of the doubt, it might be a bait. Oh, my. Ismon is so nice with the setups, but Oryx is nice to avoid. Look at the empty landing to cross him up. Mm -hmm. he can't run through people, gotta jump over. Great wait there by Oryx. Putting a lot of pressure on that platform just by existing as Peach. <laughs> Ooh, tried to get that double nair, but that big low nair, super safe. Indeed. Oryx bringing this all the way back. Oh, not getting this strong into the up smash. That, that, the quickness with that up air. Honestly. This is back in Oryx's favor. He was behind by so much. And this is uh, an That's aerial from Oryx. This is a grab from Ismon. A fair from Ismon. Mm -hmm. Lots of stuff that Rob can do to close out a stock reliably. Mm. Ooh, nice. Nair to trade. That's a peach classic right there, yeah. by the way. It's just, I don't care if you hit me. I got a fresh stock. Uh, throw out an air to kill you. All right. And a trade when you're invincible is definitely one I'll take. Still at 0%. <laughs> he was still invincible. That's that's what I missed. Mm. Honestly, the visual was kind of uh, kind of whack because I definitely thought he got hit too, but he's sitting here at 0%. Yeah. Well, now he's got to find a way to land against the Rob, which is... Never an easy concept. This character really does not struggle to cover these landings. Oh! Nice. Use the gyro to beat out the Nair. I think otherwise Nair is actually really difficult for Peach to deal with without a turnip or something else in hand. Yeah. Generally, you need really good out of shield stuff or a, a big aerial that you can get out before Destroy. he does, but Peach isn't really fast enough to get up to Rob, you know, to throw out a quick aerial before she knows that Nair's coming out. Like that right there? Right. You have to be facing behind and, and set up a Can back you here, imagine? maybe. But... Play in my space for a moment. That yeah. Oryx held that up smash after he got hit by the turnip. I already forgot what we were talking about. Anyways. That moment passed so fast for me that I did not even realize what you were up That's fair. Oh, jeez. Now, a Rob in the corner. 
never actually in that much danger. Because you actually immediately put Oryx in the corner. Mm -hmm. By the time you finished saying a rob in the corner, we were at center stage. Yeah, and I had to change gears real quick. That's yeah. a, that's honestly mostly an Ismon thing. I'm, I'm not going to lie. He yeah. does not get stuck there often. Oh, that was nice, but he goes for the wrong punish. Mm -hmm. Either way, either way, still set up some pressure at the ledge. Now he's going to be low pressure at the ledge. You know, Peach ledge driving is nutty. Mm -hmm. but Hard to deal with. Man, you've been saying it. Or Oryx is a great ledge trapper, but Ismon has done such a good job of escaping all of that. Mm -hmm. And look at this. That's a rob thing. Go completely over it. Don't even worry about the ledge. I'm going to be over here. I love that by Oryx. He doesn't go back to the gyro. He says, all right, I got my stage control. I put a rob in the corner. I got to do what I can because I'm Peach. This is what I'm looking for. Ooh, jump away. Great spacing. Oh. And again, that we're is playing... If you were, had any doubts that we are playing Super Smash Brothers on any sort of console, that back here should show you that we most certainly are. Yes. Super Smash Brothers for the Sega Dreamcast. <laughs> oh, that would be dope. <laughs> Can you imagine? That would be awesome. Can you imagine? I would I would like a Sega Sega All-Stars like platform fighter. Yeah, I, I don't even know who would go into a Sega All-Stars platform fighter. Uh, I mean, you would get like, so you would get like, obviously like Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, probably Eggman, right? Um, you get Kiryu from Yakuza finally in a fighting game, probably Majima as well. You get Super Monkey Ball. I'd like to see Fantasy Super Star Arcs. I'd wild. like to see Fantasy Star Arcs in Smash, honestly. Uh, uh, we can we can theorize about that later. Uh, Sega has so many good good IPs that they just have killed because they're dumb. I was gonna say, yeah, there's none that are like living enough for me to remember them. Yeah, like, which be on the forefront of my which brain. Which sucks. At least. Jet Set Radio, man. Oh, oh, Jet Set Radio would be dope. Yeah. You know what else is dope? This friggin' combo game from Oryx, he is continuing to stack it up. And on Battlefield as well, I expect it to, to keep going that way, but Ismon's the one who took that. Wow. Ismon's the one who took him here. Perfect spacing from Oryx. It's not a bad Peach stage by any means. No, but I, I do like as Rob being able to sit under these platforms, set up gyro stuff. It's really difficult for Peach to get anything started. The thing is, if Oryx has his way, he's not going to get anything started. What he's going to do is build a lead and then oh, that's a, what a Ismon away. See, honestly, and he, uh, uh, for a second, I, I had to go through my head, and I would go, why is this one still playing Rob? That forward smash is one reason, you know? Another uh, reason is because he is want to. <laughs> That's true. I, I just feel like, yeah, it's a bad matchup for Wario, right? You know, and it's not the best for Rob either, but also better than Falco. I'm like 90, I, just, I have just come to the realization. I'm like 99% sure uh, that we guaranteed have a new Ultimate Chocolate Runner, someone who's never won before. Uh, has Ismon won before? I don't think Ismon has, no. I don't know if Ismon's been out, like, recently enough for him to, like, for his skill, like, jump. Yeah, because he was definitely here early on in Smash. And, and he was good early on, but he was, he was like, he wasn't leveling good up to, definitely. Yeah. He, he wasn't good enough to take any, like, Like, at the time or. against Austin, that was, like, a difficult... That wasn't happening, yeah. yeah. I mean, Austin was beating of course, of people at that time. Right? Currently, so. in our in our current state of affairs, Austin out at ninth, Ismon chilling first seed, mm -hmm. but in losers finals. And you know, maybe able to get two grands. Actually, has a, I feel like Oryx is one one. You're, pr I think you're right. I think Oryx is one one. I think Oryx has one under his belt. One one was a racehorse. Two two was one two. One 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 race. Potato. Two two one one two. The Big know, fan. There's a there's an actual racehorse out there named Fortnite Funny Moment. Really? Yeah, it's really. <laughs> it's my favorite racehorse. That's pretty. Cool. My favorite horse in this. I don't actually have one. I don't have. A I horse like in most this race. race players. Yeah, I agree. I really don't have a horse in this race. If I were a betting man, I'd say that Rob is busted. True. But if I were a betting man, I would bet on one of his monster characters that isn't Rob. Not that I have anything against the Rob. Because it's pretty good. But I know a lot more about the other ones, and his Rob is putting in a lot of work right here. I would be curious to see what another character could bring to the table. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, if I never see, if this set ends, and we never see a character other than Rob, and somehow or Oryx takes it. That gyro is just placed perfectly, dude. Oh, I'm an order. Oh, he's dead? Honestly, oh. I'd go under the stage. Yeah. <laughs> if, if, it, if it were I me. Expected Oryx to just drop down and and smack him. That's, that's why I was thing. suggesting to go under the stage. Yeah. Down smash. Nice coverage. Oh, scary spot. Really good recovery. 
Goes to the platform. Scary against Peach. Got to use this gyro to help him get back. No. Oh, that's a grab. Nice use of that empty landing. That float makes it so easy. Wow. Ah! It's not fading in. I can't believe nobody's dead yet. I cannot believe. As you were saying. Gone. Mm -hmm. Gone with the win. Gone with the laser. Hits to ride. It's like a bullet train going straight to the blast zone. Straight to game three. Bullet train indeed. Oh, I guess I guess the laser is not a bullet. Close enough. Yeah. The intent was there. Yeah. yeah Projectile yeah. train. <laughs> that's. I feel like that's like a that's like a rough. Like if if we put like translation of bullet train through like Google Translate like six, six or seven times. times we get like projectile locomotive. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that would be impressive. Mm. Might also be impressive to see Oryx grind out a win here on Battlefield as close as that game two was. Right. Want to see if he can make the adjustments to make the stage work. The the big important change here is that we're going from Daisy to Peach. Mm. Which is no real significance here. No, literally none. Maybe a little bit few worse color palettes. Remember when, you know, they were announcing stuff about this game and they were like, Echo Fighters function somewhat differently. Uh, ha ha! <laughs> a good joke. Because they did not say like, oh, their moves are different. And you would say like, oh, it's like about the look. They said they function differently. Yeah. And that's only true about like two Echoes. Yeah, they showed Koi and Ram and they're like, oh! And then the Ken and Ryu were like, oh! And, they showed uh, and also Pit Dark Pit. They have a couple that are different. Yeah, but they've always been like that. They just stack them on top of each other in this game. Which was a smart move. Yeah. Same with Lucina and Red Yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh, Stitch, Stitch face indeed. in hand. But Gone. Oryx, Oryx is not one to hold on to those. Right. He likes to treat it like any other tournament. If he gets something, gravy. Yeah, because if you're too worried about the fact that I have Stitch, oh, God. Woo! Now there's expectations of me. Yeah. Right? Like, <laughs> that's that's what stresses you out and puts pressure on you that makes you lose the game. Oh, that near almost killed. Great DI adjustment at the end there. Oh, parry. Big parry. Big parry, because otherwise it's definitely not going to be a uh, punish with a kill. Right, maybe you'll punish, but not gonna be an up smash. Also, really good by Ismon after he got that parry to put himself right in a position where he could cover cross up or no cross up. He didn't have to react. Exactly. There. Oh, that's gonna be good damage. Oh, he gets the drag on upper. I was saying Ismon couldn't do that earlier, and I've never been happier to say that I'm wrong because that was sick. Great catch on the gyro and ah. great positioning on the parasol to avoid the down air. Yeah, Oryx had to mash that up B to get through. Rob's chunky. He's still gonna live. There we go. Tries to roll behind, maybe set up a back throw, but this one steals center stage for it. Well, let's see. They're able to deal with that turn up enough, but aggressively coming back on stage is not going to work for Ismon. Oryx has that covered for certain. Can he do anything with this gyro in hand, though? Might have to burn it to help him land. And it does end up knocking it out. Sitting at 105, though. This is a big deficit. You know, Peach combo game is nice. You gotta get through. Oh, that was a phantom footstool into the float down air. Mm -hmm. Hey, 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 look out. Oh, Oryx yeah. is coming right back into this. Yeah, so I was talking about the deficit. What deficit? Yeah. You know, minus is... what? One or two hits? Whittling away. This is exactly the kind of game that Oryx plays, right? Is that if he goes down early in the game, that does not affect his mentality at all. Ooh. That item toss. Beach has a strong item toss. Wow. Again, that up smash looks like it's really difficult for his mind to deal with when he's stuck on the platform. He just kind of has to hold that. Like, it's not plus or anything, but, like, he's not going to punish it. He just has to get down and reposition. I want to I wanna see, like, a Brawl Minus kind of thing with Rob's down smash where it extends out really far like Ivysaur down oh, smash. No. <laughs> it just... <laughs> gets the loopy arms. This is... I don't know why. Yeah. <laughs> Dreaming. Don't give it up, Robert. Dreaming. Don't <laughs> Robert. <laughs> Robert, the Robert operating buddy. Robert <laughs> ate the gum gum fruit. Sounds like he ate the accountant fruit. <laughs> oh, no. oh, wow. Oryx barely outside of the range for that to hit. Mm -hmm. Ismon, I love the patience away? making that back. Again, how does he get away from all these ledge traps every time? Dude, he is so good at it. Like, freakishly good. He's just really good at selecting the right choice at the right time. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, Oryx doesn't have to worry about that gyro right now. Oryx, I'm sorry, Ismon rather, rolls right into the gyro as well. Just to give himself that extra security. Wow, spot dodge just in time. Yeah, he was actually crossed up over Oryx. Dude, both of these guys' recoveries have just been nonsensically good, and Oryx able to take the lead for the first time in this game three. Both of those players were playing that second to last stock as tight as if it were a last stock. Mm -hmm. Like, neither player wanted to give an inch. That's that's what playing against Oryx feels like, though. You feel like it is constantly last stock because of how much of a grind he makes you play through. Mm -hmm. Oh, what a well-spaced back air, but Oryx was even better on that recovery. Good patience here from Ismon. Porto on the DI mix-up didn't yeah. give him a chance. Definitely started DIing away for the for the up throw. Got yeeted. Look at the damage. He's bringing it back. Great roll away there from Oryx. <gasps> he jumps into the side B, but... Set up the back air? Yeah. Really high recovery from Oryx. is able to avoid that. Get, get, up get attack. attack, yeah. He was still floating from that back air, so he wasn't able to set anything up fast enough. Didn't react to him this time. Okay. Yeah, Oryx back to the turnips in center stage. He knows that his has got to kind of commit to something to take that back. Yeah, it's hard for <gasps> Peach to find time to pull turnips in the matchup, but it's really important when she's able to get them. See right there, I feel like when Oryx got smacked into center stage by that gyro, if Ismon was playing a little bit more reactively, he might have gotten a down tilt into a forward smash after he bounced him off of the gyro again. But that might not matter. He's got the up tilt and the up air will absolutely do it at that percent. Oryx hitting that knee. He knows that just one missed setup is all it was for him to miss out on taking that game three. And Ismon has, he is one game away from getting that rematch against Zillion and Grants. And now we're going to FD, actually going for that clean counter pick. Uh, I don't know if Oryx was afraid of this stage earlier, maybe because the potential for the Wario to come out. Because well, I know this is really good for Ismon's Wario as well. Or uh, if perhaps this is uh, just a situation where he really wanted to prove himself that he could do it on Battlefield, but it just wasn't worth it. After he dropped the second one, he said, you know what? Screw it, I'm gonna go on my real counter pick. FD. But it's so important to know, right? Like, I've talked about this earlier today, about how that pride can get you in trouble, and especially here, where Oryx had that game one win, right? He had the counter pick advantage, and by trying to prove that he could do it on Battlefield, he left, he, that went away from him. And I guess on, on one side, you're trying to save FD for the last game, right? The clutch one where you get your best stage, but you know, I think that you just got to let it be a close game five. Yeah, definitely. Oh, okay, so we're going to forward throw here. Again, these ledge traps are an option, but again, doesn't find it. You know, one reason that he's got a stitch, one reason that Ismon, oh, he's dead too. Oryx with a big lead, and uh, honestly, I've just noticed this. Uh, one reason that Oryx is getting uh, off of these ledge traps, it seems really quickly, is Oryx is going for big commitments yeah. without reacting, but big commitments on both sides here. They're able to get early stocks. Man, yeah, that's true. Look, he's committing to this downer up here. Wow. Just out of range of the getup attack, but it's not able to punish. We'll see if Oryx is able to keep the pressure on after losing that stock so quickly after he had established that lead, right? Like, that's a mental blow. Okay. And again... Dot eyes, that's I'm, damage. I'm amazed at the amount of turnips that Peach has been able to find time to pull, that Oryx has been able to find time to pull here, because his mod is not usually making it easy. It's a quick gyro toss away at this distance, but... The thing is, you yeah. can see right here, Ismon's not a super gyro-heavy Rob. He really likes to go at it with those normals and close the space. You know, use Rob's crazy good combo game, uh, you know, and then mix in the projectiles once that started. But as far as neutral goes, nah, it's not as much of a, a usage. Man, he's just juggling that gyro. Eventually finds her own turn up. Almost nice. gets used against her, but it's a game of hot potato. Whoa. Once again, Oryx striking hard to take the stock early. Might see Ismon go for another early stock as well, though. Ooh. Just steals the gyro upon landing. Mm. Man, that downer is not easy a uh, pressure to deal with. Rob, fastest her shield option, I think, is like frame 10 on a shield grab, and after that, it's up smash, if I'm not mistaken. Sounds about right. Oh my gosh. Hey, wait a second. Oryx has got so much damage. 
Thank you, Ray. Hold on a moment. <laughs> that was a lot. And it is not over yet. Continuing the ledge trap with the help of the gyro. Now has a turnip. It's going to come back down. Looking like Ooh, a there game we go. five, boys. Over. Eventually, as one's able to find the roll on. Stuck in the corner. Yeah, pressure your way out. Go for those down tilts. Man. Gyro set up at the ledge. Not quite where you want it to be. Sorix was able to find a way out without too much trouble. Okay, set up the down tilts. You're too high of a percent to get anything that close to the ledge, though. Going straight for the up air. Very smart. Ismont's got a chance. Rob has funny stuff. It's true, but he does have to be really careful. He's setting up that Z drop Nair. He doesn't have gyro. Yeah, it just he had to option same. select into something else. Yeah, disappeared there, so he's able to up tilt for some damage, but that's not the damage you wanted. Woo. Still working up plenty with these Nairs, though. It's really creative landings from Ismon. He's got it between the Gyro forward smash! Oh, he no. went for one too many down tilts. I don't know if it would have killed without that last down tilt, but falls out. That was a big setup opportunity for Ismon, but still, though, a lot of momentum, a lot of damage. He is not out of the running at all. He's still very clearly in this. Mm -hmm. And this for Ismon, if he wins this, he goes to the next game. Or he, I'm sorry, he goes to the next set. With a lot of momentum. A lot of momentum? Oryx out of the tournament? This is potentially Oryx's tournament stock. Mm hmm. That's Whereas a lot of it pressure. didn't look like we were even going to get here, but yeah, Ismon's comeback factor. We know it's on Rob, it's real, but he's going to have to show it off in game five because Oryx is clutch enough mm -hmm. to keep it in his favor. Just enough. Just barely. That game was falling apart at the seams. Mm hmm. But luckily, Oryx. You would say at the stitches. Uh, yeah. Luckily, Oryx is a master seamstress. Mm -hmm. Seamstr seamstress? Seamstress. Seamstress. Uh, seamstress. Oh, I was thinking about Peach, but yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I don't know. A, I don't know a if seamstress is gendered, and b if they're what the male nomenclature is for that. Yeah. But it it feels like one of those things where usually seamstert? it's like we 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 have those things where we add on like the s for like actress because like our si yeah. I'm not gonna get into this seamstress? game five. See, it seems true. Uh, I, th I think, think that right? that would be my best that, guess. That just sounds like sleazy. <laughs> I don't know. You know what? I I'm, don't I'm disagree. A <laughs> I'm a seamster. I'm a seamster. I will. Yeah, it seems I will, like it, buddy. I will find another place to <laughs> have my clothes fixed. Thank you. Yeah. I'll get it on my. I'll get my way out of this seam store. I will. <laughs> I will head to the Abel sisters. Thank you very much. <laughs> Mabel and Mabel, they're always reliable. And don't, forget about, don't forget about their successful sister, Sable. Yeah. Oh, geez. We used to have a hedgehog named Mabel at our house. Oh, that's dope. Yeah. We ended up having to s s sell the hedgehog to someone else after like a couple months. Oh, no talk of hedgehogs. There's no Sonic here. Hedgehogs are hard right, to keep up with. Right now, they're hard to keep up with just like this game already running away for Ismon. Yeah. Look at this. Wait, the loops! Uh, the loops, again. brother. Brother? Many loops. The loops. Loops. Ismon is out here swinging with the rob. I am in... I'm, I may be a monkey's uncle. I am inserting my foot into my mouth, metaphorically. I was about to say, I'm not... I do not see it. Yeah. I am looking away. <laughs> I do not see it. <laughs> some monkey see no evil. <laughs> That, that right now, to some, means that you do not see a Rob on the screen. However, Ismon is only a force of good right now with the Rob. He's a force for the viewing pleasure. Look at him. What? Could you say words? I, uh, I'm just not quite <laughs> sure how to respond. Then ignore what I'm saying and say something useful. All right. Well, I can tell you this much. Um... Oh, that brain just blew. Wow, dude. yeah, it's it sucks that's, when there's nothing crazy. going from the other side. Isn't no, it? that's that's yeah. crazy, man. Crazy. It's 2 a.m. You know wow. what else is crazy? This game. Ismon's Rob. Yeah, Ismon's, Ismon's Rob. <laughs> that again, I I have no knowledge. Oh, I have yeah. knowledge now. I have knowledge that it's very real. It's very very real. I don't know. I still don't know if this is like a oh for Peach I will use the Rob or if this is like a ah it'd be funny and good. Uh, it seems like it's uh, mostly column A, just a tiny little bit of column B. Because mm -hmm. uh, we haven't seen too much of the Rob, but this is a good matchup to do it when you play the other characters that Ismon Yikes! does. However, Oryx showing off, if you're going to play big body, you better be ready to take some hits. And Ismon has been ready. 
This one has, has done a good job of staying composed in disadvantage. Mm -hmm. But this is like, oh, oh yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, yeah. I didn't think he would be able to reach. I thought he'd have to Paris all the way up there, but he got him with a fair, kind of out of the jump. And there's a ledge trap away. <laughs> Ismont's taking his time because he knows I cannot let Oryx take me into this last stock with me sitting on getting him only to 7%. And the other thing is, he knows that, like you pointed out, Oryx is continuing to commit early with these ledge traps. He waits for just a fraction of a second too long and Oryx will go for something big like an up mm -hmm. smash or with a grab. However, this is Ismont on his last stock. We know that Peach has some explosive potential. Especially that Oryx has been working for so long on that combo game, and it has only gotten better with age. Ooh, Gyro Toss gets a grab for it. Oh, set on the platform. Great TI off by Ismon to make sure that that doesn't get extended. Down tilt. No up tilt afterward. Down throw, rather. I'm getting all scrambled up because Ismon yes. is so close to closing it out. He's dead. Up He's smash dead. to do it. Wow. With the Rob, with the Rob, he completes the set. Ismon moving on to Grand Finals for his rematch versus Zillion. Mm -hmm. He oh. went all Falco, not, no, not all Falco. He